When your team uses abstract, everything that is committed can be viewed by anyone. It doesn't matter who they are or whether they're on the Mac app or the web app. Any person who is a member of your abstract organization can see all the work, except for private projects, which require you to add people individually. But navigating through all of this and knowing what to look at when your whole team has work in progress can be a little daunting. We've provided a few methods to make sharing your work much easier. Collections are the recommended way to share work with others. A collection in abstract is a space where you can curate the screens that you want others to see without having to export screenshots, upload changes, or resend new links every time you make a change. You can create as many collections as you want, and you can add up to 100 screens to any collection. Collections are built using the previews from the files on your branch, so you can create collections on the master branch or any other branch. Collections on master tend to be used for reference, since they reflect what your master files look like and only update when you merge a new branch into master. Collections on branches are more often used for design reviews and developer handoff since the work that you're doing on a branch is new and usually requires some kind of approval before you mark it as complete. Here's how to create a collection. Let's go back to that branch we started where we're working on the sign-in flows for the banking mobile app. If you recall, I created a new screen for the Touch ID and Face ID login and I wanted to get some feedback on that design. On my branch overview, I can click the new collection to get started. I'll give it a title so that viewers will know what they're looking at, and then I'll click the plus tile. Now you can see that there's a left side panel where I have access to all of the files on my branch. I can pull in any artboard from any file that I want to. I'm just going to bring in the Touch ID and Face ID screens though, and the screens that I needed to modify to add in affordances. Then I click Add Items, and my collection has been made. I can also add a description of my collection so that people know what they're looking at. I can add text sections inside of a collection to create more organization. So I'm going to add a Face ID section and a Touch ID section in this collection. These also support Markdown, so I can format this in a way that I want to. I'm going to go ahead and make these heading texts, so I will mark this as Face ID, and I will create another one with heading text that is Touch ID. Now I can simply click and drag the artboards into the sections. And now I've created an organized collection. This looks like it's ready to be shared, so let's see what options we have for sharing it with others. If I were to go into a design review session with my teammates, I could click the present button and dive into a full screen presentation of my designs. I can also click the share button to copy a link to this collection which I can send to anyone on my team. By clicking on the down arrow next to the share button, I can get access to more share settings, which allows me to create a public share link. Even people outside your organization can view a public share link, but you can restrict it so that they cannot see different previous versions or the inspect options for your designs if you wish. Collections are a great way for sharing because, by default, the previews of the designs automatically update every single time that you make a new commit, or every time you merge your branch if the collection's on master. There's no uploading changes, sending new files or links to stakeholders, or removing old designs. Collections are always up to date, just like the rest of your work in Abstract. Many teams also use Abstract for design to development handoff using collections. When you're ready to get engineering feedback or to have engineers start working on your designs, you can create a collection like this of the screens they'll need and share this collection with them. Once they enter a collection, they can click on any of the preview tiles to view the screen at full size, they can compare it to previous versions of the design, and they can launch into the Inspect tab to view the details they need.
Lastly, I also want to mention that there are many other ways of creating share links from Abstract, depending on what goal you have in mind. In general, any time that you see this three dots icon that indicates more menu options, you're likely to find an option that says copy link to that item. You can use this to share a collection like I'm doing here, but also you can use it to share entire projects, branches, files, a page within a file, a commit, an artboard, a comment on an artboard, and even more. I still recommend starting with collections, since sharing links directly to files or artboards can lead someone deep into abstract without much context as to where they are, but it can be useful if someone asks for a single screen, if they want to know where conversations are taking place in comments, or if they want to see the whole branch you've been working on. So check these overflow menus and try right-clicking on different items to see what you can share with others.